What's going on YouTube? With the release of OP04 Kingdoms of Intrigue right around the corner coming out this Friday, I thought it'd be nice to finally drop the Rebecca decklist that I've been using and been able to test out. Before we get into the full decklist, I gotta give a big shout out right here to Team Seafood King for always helping me out and having my back. I appreciate them a lot and thank you to them for helping me out with this. So let's see what I think the most optimal cards are for a Rebecca deck so far with just a couple weeks of testing so here we are with the full deck list and we're going to be starting it off with gyatz it is the announcer of the coliseum the hype man himself and he's a 2k counter that also allows you to attack active characters and so pretty good card but for the most part usually use him as a counter next up is going to be our little man leo right here we're definitely going to need four of them because he's going to be one of our koers in the deck right behind kiros and he's also a 1k counter and so another great staple in the deck. Following it up with Rebecca, who's going to be our searcher. She helps find cards when you cannot find anything with your leader. As well as trashing cards, which helps out with King Kong Gun. I think a lot of time, a great play is being able to use your leader ability. And then playing Rebecca searcher all on turn one when you have two dawn. And then following up with Orlumbus on turn two. And then turn three, being able to use Orlumbus's ability, KOing the Rebecca while subtracting costs on a character, and then playing a Kiros or a Leo in order to KO one of your opponent's characters. Then we have our two little dinky blockers in the deck. We have Idio, which honestly you could substitute for something else. I haven't been able to find something that I really like in place of him, but it is nice being able to find him in case if you don't find anything else, as he is a Dress Rosa versus using a Kaya or something like that. And then Barto, it's a given that we run four of him. He's another 2k counter in the deck and a very great card. Next up is going to be one of our Navy characters in the deck. And it's going to be Tashigi, which is a 2k counter. In instances where you do not have Orlumbus, or even if you do have Orlumbus, you can pair them together and then play a Kiros or a Leo in order to pop some characters, which is always great. And she then becomes a pseudo blocker of sorts because she becomes rested instead of using Granny Suru or something like that, which is only an on play ability. Someone that we've been talking about throughout this deck list so far is Kiros. You could say that he is the champion of the deck, so to speak. Absolutely insane being able to have two extra lives when paired with the leader and the Coliseum keeping him alive. I cannot stress how important Kiros is. And so running four of him goes without question. Or Lumbus is another person that we have talked about. A necessary staple as well because of his ability. Him being Dress Rosa along with the cost reduction just synergizes so well with the deck. And so seeing four of him is another must. Sabo is going to be our last blocker of the deck. And he is just incredible when it comes to using his ability of not only drawing two cards and trashing two cards. But also making it so that your characters cannot be KO'd by effects until the start of your next turn next up we have our finisher of the deck the character who will probably be winning the majority of your games it's going to be luffy right here using his restand ability is just absolutely insane pairing that with king kong gun just gives you an instant 13k double swing and it's just wild for game finishers now something that i don't see a lot of people running is going to be the 10 cost kuzon right here we've seen some other variations of decks and i've been able to test out like 10 cost kaido but it just never feels as good as having 10 cost kuzon which pairs so well with black's ability to ko and as for our events we have king kong gun four of them we then have 3000 worlds which i think pairs very well with black's ability to reduce costs as it can send big bodies back into the bottom of the deck. And what is nice about it is that it helps in the matchup against Nami, which I've seen some Rebecca players struggle with because Nami tends to favor the slower decks. So 3,000 worlds being able to send cards back into Nami's deck and making sure that Nami doesn't deck out is crucial. And lastly, we have our stage, which is Coliseum right here. While sometimes I might not encounter the Coliseum itself, I think that four is too much and three is just the perfect number for it. And so now you guys will be seeing here an absolutely insane game where I play a Rebecca mirror match showcasing pretty much every single card in the deck and its ability and how you can win no matter the circumstance with this deck list. I haven't played Rebecca in a little bit, but see what happens here. It's all good, Johnny. You already know I'm gonna bring Dex to to uh, to Vegas, bro. We take some money matches or something. 
get people on the streets like hey man if you can beat me at this game come on give me something Kiros, not bad next turn we play orlumbus but he does use destructive sword of thunder which can ko stuff dang dude he's playing the rebecca's he pulls Colosseum. Trash is... Oh, he already trashed two destructive swords. Nice. And he's got Kaya in his deck. And he drew an Orlumbus. He can play Orlumbus. Jesus, dude. 3,000 worlds? Whole flight to Vegas. We Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I play Kiros. Dude, this hand's so weird. What the hell? Two, four, six, seven. This hand's hella weird. The fuck do I do here? <laughs> this is like a super weird hand. Uh I guess I could play Leo. It's like literally not Oh, now I could have used leader ability. Fuck! Could have used the leader ability. Yeah, he's dead. Misplay. Big misplay. Even then, leader ability wouldn't have saved me, though. All good. All good, brothers. Two, four, six. There's like, dude, this is such a shit hand, man. Three King Kong guns? I have no Colosseum. Like, what? It'll be nice because it'll let all the girls on the flight know to leave us alone. <laughs> no, it's gonna bring, it's gonna, it's gonna draw all the girls to us because everybody now, so many people recently have been watching the live action and they're gonna be seeing us play and they're gonna be like, wait a second. One Piece has a card game? Why no swing at Luffy? Because I can't. I can't, dude. That's the problem, Garinsky. I don't have Coliseum. Luffy can attack active characters, but he can't attack active characters on the turn that he's played unless if you have Coliseum. That's why it's fucked. There's no Coliseum. I'm just, yeah, I'm dead. I'm just like straight up dead in the water right now. It's just actually so ass. What's going on, Ed? You looking good on this new phone. You got an, you got the iPhone 15, Ed? Ain't no way. Ain't no way, dude. So used to always having attack on turn? Yeah, this is why you're just fucked if you don't have Coliseum. It's just... It's, you're so screwed. <laughs> no Coliseum? GG's. <laughs> GG's, bro. Oh, you got the Samsung Fold 15. It's Samsung Fold 5. Nice. My background's a little too much. You can't see anything. That's the whole point, Arkim. So I can avoid stream snipers. People be stream sniping me too much, man. I have people queuing to my lobbies, hard trolling me with like my same username and shit. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore, man. Yeah. We got snipers, dude. In one of my most recent YouTube videos, I was getting coached. Oh my god, dude. I was getting coached by... Uh... Oh my god, dude. I'm actually so fucked. By Miko and we got stream snipe. I'm so fucked, you guys. This is sick hand. Sky says to play TFT, man. Is he streaming TFT? I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh. Well, we're not fucked. I never give up. 
I don't ever give up. Um, let's see here. Let's do Leo. Use ability. KO the blocker. I can play that for eight then, maybe. I can play that for nine. Let's do this. Swing ten. You're playing right now. We call this Becca Problems. Okay. Understandable. The Becca Problems. Don't worry, you guys. Don't ever give up on me. Don't you guys ever give up on me, okay? Because I always have a plan. I never give up on myself. And I always believe. I don't need this many King Kong guns. Right? And I don't need another 10 drop. So we get rid of this. And we get rid of one King Kong gun. And we'll end turn there. I got Sabos. I got some blockers. We got this. Rebecca can't attack. We got this shit. Let's win. Let's come back right here and win. All right. That's fine. What is Luffy going to attack? Put two Don on, swing nine? Yeah, he can't. He attacks the Sabo. He has Idio, which is two Don. Okay. We'll just 2K counter out of that. He plays Idio. I can play Kiro's KO the Idio. Attack the Luffy. Luffy dead. We got this. Oh, he's going to restand. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should have. If I kept another 10 drop. Hmm. I would like to have a 3,000 worlds. Oh, I could... I could Tashigi Kiros. Nope. Never mind. Don't need to. I could Orlumbus. Kiros. That's seven. That pops this. I want to get Luffy out though, man. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Kiros. Pop it. We'll go 10. Yep, he's dead. We'll play Luffy, and then we'll end turn. Let's come back right here. Come back season right here, you guys. Woo! No way, bro. He has a Kiros. Drops Kiros. What is he KO? Yeah, a little Leo. Uh, Barto. One turn KO incoming. Yeah, he got Barto though. Come on, give me a KOer. Tshigi. Two, four. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, how do we want to do this? Because I don't want him to draw into more cards, but... I think I just play Sabo. Two, four, six, seven. So I play Sabo. Get rid of an Orlumbus. I don't need the Orlumbuses. I have a lot of 2k counter in hand. So no KOer. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Hmm. Hmm. Attack his blocker. So I don't give him resource. I can send cards back into my deck too. Something like that. Let's see. He wants to draw though. I mean, how scary can it be if he draws cards? Let's do this. dead do i want to restand he's gonna get restood next turn i can use rebecca ability <laughs> another king kong gun 
Uh, let's do that. <laughs> we end turn. What does he? What does he got for us? What does he got? Another blocker? Okay, Rebecca ability. He draws Luffy. That's fine. Plays Luffy for seven. He has two Dawn remaining. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it was good. I think it was good that we didn't swing that turn because then he can draw into more stuff. I think that's the move there. You know what's crazy, Arkham, is I've never played TFT. I've never played League, never played TFT. You guys, I've never played, uh, uh, what's the other, there's TFT, there's League, is there one more Riot game? It's kind of like that. Swing seven. Just block. Is that the game is huge in it? Yeah, it's huge. Oh, okay, I played Valorant. I played Valorant. But I just, yeah, I never, the game's huge in NA. I'm just weird, bro. Runeterra, I've never played. I'm just hella weird, Arkham. Never played any of those games, dude. It's crazy. Oh my God, I finally get Coliseum. Holy shit, dude. I have four, three Coliseums in the deck. One of them's in the trash. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's do 10. He has two, four, five life. You play League, never TFT. Wow. That's crazy. Maybe I should have swung five first. No, because then, yeah, I guess I can use King Kong gun on the blockers, but... Yep, that's fine. Swing 13. Nice. 3,000 worlds of the Kiros, that's fine. Nineteen, GG's, GG's, Roach. Holy shit, dude, that's a crazy match. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Please consider dropping a like, subscribe, and comment down below. It'd be much appreciated. And if you guys want to see any live content almost every single day of the week, go check out the Twitch, Twitch.tv/Mr. Underscore Voodoo, and we'll be seeing you guys next time.